Welcome to the number one pressure washing channel in the universe. I'm getting taken away, getting taken downtown. For being too much of a savage. So, it's been nice knowing you guys. Here we are, uh, return customer. Listen, if you don't do good work, you need to start doing good work and paying attention to your uh, the customers you already have. We're gonna be cleaning this up, all these bugs. It's a lot. So we'll take care of that. <clears throat> well, yeah, all you gotta do is on like a holiday or something, say 4th of July send them mass text or email to all your customers just wishing them a happy 4th happy Thanksgiving whatever it is it just keeps you in their mind and uh, then they'll realize they got dirty stuff and they'll call you again so around the holidays I usually right when the holidays are over get a lot of calls because I always send a happy fourth or labor day whatever it is and they always like that then they usually have a barbecue or something see all the dirt and boom you get the call So after you clean it, you know, standing back, everything looks great, right? But what, what, what happens in some of these stuck-up homes, these are called fungus gnats. And most of them are gone, but it's like right here. Kind of reminds me of like what shotgun fungus would be, but this is called fungus gnats. And they're organic, so you treat them, you know, like I downstream this, and I'll try and let it sit as long as I can. And then what I do, is I use the uh, the M5 twist nozzle to uh, get it off, like a shooter, like the shoot straight shot. So let me show you what I mean. They don't come off easy. Look at that view we have today. Beautiful. Yeah, anyway, so let's get this. I'll show you what I mean. Put it as, on the M5 as straight as you can. And. Hit. And when you let it sit for a while, they come right off. There's some more uh, fungus gnats right there. See these little specks? Now they've been sitting there in the house wash mix for a while. They'll come right off.
Dwell time. It's important. Remember, dwell time. Be patient. real quick so I finished plumbing up from the other video I got it going into my Y trap filter right and then this piece is gonna come up and into my washer like so and then right here is the uh, filter right so it collects all the garbage so it flows through here water and trash falls down in this filter right and there's usually like a plug up top here. What I usually do, what I did on all my setups, is I put a barb here and put a one inch hose like so with a ball valve so I can fill up buckets of water. And also while you're doing that, it's flushing any debris out of that filter and any like leaves or bugs are gonna come through this way. And if there's something really big in there, you just, you know take that this part off so i'm sure you guys are familiar with the banjo but this is all this is going to be my dump valve right here and this is going to be my feed line right to the washer nice thick hose two tanks for those of you who didn't see and then that tank over there's got a 90 coming out comes into this feeds this tank also coming out feeding the next tank also coming out going into the banjo into the washer so stay tuned for more updates but yeah anyway that's how you get more customers like I said you want to you want to just put yourself in front of your old customers you want to acquire new customers but remember it's a lot cheaper to keep a customer than it is to gain a new one so obviously while you're gaining customers Treat your old customers and, you know, say hello, happy holidays, happy 4th of July, like I said earlier, um, and just stay in front of their face. And even though they might not need something right then and there, when they do, they're going to say, oh yeah, Mike always, always reaches out make sure we're doing well and everything like that. Let's use them again, you know? So it definitely helps to be uh, in front of everybody's face. So remember, branding is important and get your logos on your trucks and business cards and stickers whatever you got and just get in front of people same with facebook facebook you might not get many jobs off of it but you're in front of people so in the long term you're going to get some jobs off of people they're going to refer you to other people etc etc all right guys check out these other videos coming in